Um, and I think it's over. I hope so. Uh, we got to move on. Today was a good day for justice. Another good day for justice. We're going back to square one on the people versus justice mouth. Mr. Smollett wanted to come into court now and say, wait a minute, there shouldn't be a special prosecutor. So Judge Tuman ruled that it's too late to come into court now, should have come earlier, and that some of the things that were filed did not have the proper affidavits to them. And as a result, Judge Tuman's order of June 21st will stand. A special prosecutor will be appointed in this case. And it's up to Judge Tuman who that person's going to be. This, is, this case was about who is going to be in charge of the people versus Jesse Smollett. This was not about whether Jesse Smollett is guilty or not guilty. No. It was about Kim Fox and her duties as the state's attorney and whether she fulfilled her duties as the state's attorney in this case. This case is about, did the state's attorney of Cook County follow the law in her duties to prosecute? It's not about, at this moment, it's not about whether Mr. Smollett is guilty or not guilty. That's not what this is about. It's about, did the state's attorney of Cook County fulfill her duties and fulfill the law in being a fair and impartial state's attorney to prosecute this case. I'm actually, I'm frankly very surprised that the court didn't even allow us to intervene. I think the, uh, we had a meritorious argument on the motion for reconsideration, but based on Ms. O'Brien's filings and the court's position today, it became abundantly clear that they didn't want to deal with the merits of the motion for reconsideration. And so that's one of the grounds for the appeal we'll be exploring. He's holding up. He's a very resilient young man. He has been through a lot, but he has tremendous support. Um, and those who know him know he was not involved, and they continue to stand by him and support him. And he's keeping himself busy and following his passions, as he always has done.